Yeah, I think um, after the summer, I wanted to become a top order batter. So I, I did a lot of work um, throughout the winter on my technique, and that was just playing a swinging ball um, it, in terms of the first 10 overs of a game and um, tidying up my game technically. And then um, we've seen how dominant spin has been in the women's game. So um, for me, that was a real focus as well. How can I use my feet well to spin and how can I sweep well so I have those scoring options in my game and um, I think those were the two main focuses um, last winter and um, it's been been nice being able to face India who are a quality um, spin side and that's been a good challenge so I've enjoyed, enjoyed that and it, I think it's great preparation heading into a World Cup. Zoom's letting me down a bit, guys, um, on the computer. So if we go Nathan from ZB next, and then into Priya, then Gamesh. If no Nathan, Priya, go. Yeah, I think obviously waking up this morning it was disappointing to see the rain as you want to play, so very grateful um, that we got on today and the rain stayed away this afternoon, but I think it, it is quite important that we had that today heading into a World Cup because sometimes when it's raining you're just not sure and it's about mentally preparing and switching off and then switching on at the right moment, so... I think we did that pretty well today and um, to go out there and kind of transfer back into T20 mode um, after playing a few one days was um, re really great for the team and um, so I think it, it was important because it could happen at the World Cup and, and rain, rain is, is a factor but it's out of our control but we can control how we, how we prepare and our, and, and our um, approach towards it. I am congratulations and well played today brilliant innings. Thank um, you. It almost seemed like you had a, a map of the field in your mind when you were, you know, piercing through the gaps. Uh, is there something you have consciously worked on, you know, to play with the field and the gaps? Yeah, I think in my game plan, I don't really clear the fence or hit a lot of hit a lot of sixes. So for me, um, scoring my runs comes a, a lot down to gapping the ball and that's been something um, I've probably worked on my whole life as a batter. Um, and so that's that's an important part to my game and I knew where the field was and the gap, where the gaps were and it was just about hitting the ball cleanly, knowing if I could get it in a gap, I'm at least going to get two or four. Sorry guys, I'm getting laptop is having a few issues. Uh, if you just next person with a question, jump in. Um, hi Amelia, this is Ananya here from India. Well played today. Thank um, you. My question is, uh, you know, what keeps you occupied through these rain delays? I mean, um, what do you guys do as a group? Um, what kind of activities do you get up to? Um, thankfully, our coaches came down early and told us to hold fire, so we able, were able to stay at the hotel a bit longer, um, which was nice. I just read my book and went and had a, um, got a takeaway coffee with Susan and, and Maddie and, and then just hung out with the girls and, and had some of my own time um, just reading and chilling out. And then when we came to the gra ground, it was time to switch on and the rain had cleared, so we were um, into business, really. Yeah, Kalyani, if you go next, and then Vinayak. Thank you, James. Uh, here, Arun Amedi, uh, uh, another great and end for you. My question is, since the pandemic break, New Zealand has faced uh, two uh, higher ranked sides in Australia uh, and England, home and away, and that has been a kind of uh, uh, difficult tours and series 
for you how important do you think it is to be the side like in your dominating fashion uh, heading into the world cup yeah, India are obviously a quality side and they've been in both the T20 and 50 over World Cup finals. Um, so, um, yeah, to have a series against them before the World Cup has been so so good for this group and for us to be able to play the way we have, to have played their spinners the way we have and, and go out there and play with confidence. Is, um, it feels like it's all coming together at the moment for the team and the belief and confidence and just the culture we have around the group, I think that plays a massive part. Um, we all enjoy each other's success and I think with cricket being such an up and down game, you're not going to succeed all the time, but if you can make the most um, and enjoy other people's success, it's going to be more, more enjoyable for everyone and I think that's what this team's been really good at. Thank you and all the best. Cheers, thank you. Vinayak. If no, Vinayak, is Ishan have a question? Uh, if anyone else has a further question, speak now or we might finish up there. I'm good. Um, I'll go. Uh, hi, Lily. Congratulations on today. Thank Just you. Just a really simple one for you. You seem to be in a really good space on the field at this moment. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling feeling pretty good. I um, I guess the cricket's going well at the moment um, for for the team, and, and that always helps. And then we've been in Queenstown, which is a beautiful part of the world. So I love being out in nature, and that's that's been great being here. I've swum most days, so I've been able to mentally get away as well, and then being able to just enjoy the cricket and and being around the White Ferns again. It's a very special group, and they're like they're like your second family. So I'm I'm absolutely loving it, and. Um, Feeling, feeling pretty good both on and off the field.